Yes, sir. Yo, shake it, man. Yeah, I know, I know, dog. I know. Well, you been that fool? Hey, look, man. I ain't even gonna lie, dog. I've been getting to the money. Right, I'm bullshit, I'm bullshit. I've been in the crib, dog. Yeah, I've been in the crib a little too long, but now I'm back at it. You feel me? The boy was sitting down about two weeks, two and a half or something like that. But that's only because I put my truck in the shop. Like I said before, every time I get to the crib for my, um... For my off time, I'm gonna go ahead and put my truck in the shop and get something worked on. You know, so that's what I'm doing. Gotta stay on top of the equipment. Everything, everything with the engine, this, this marvelous. We running. You know, we we coming close on 900 thou. Shit, matter of fact, I think by the end of this tour, I'm gonna be on 900 thou. And just gotta make sure everything good. You know, so that's what I've been doing. But we back at it right now. I'm up here in um. Up here in Michigan, I like coming to Michigan. I ain't gonna lie. If you know, you know. All right, I'm about to go pick up a what they call it a double-sided trailer or slide silent curtain trailer. I don't know. Y'all see when I get there. Go pick one of those up, and it's going over to where's going over to Champlain, New York. Yeah, Champlain, New York. It ain't paying nothing really, you know, but it's it's getting me to where the money at. Cause from Champlain, I'm going up across the border one more game. And I'm gonna go pick me up one of those stages again. Them stages gonna um stages gonna take me down to Chicago. And yeah, that's a big money load, you feel me? So that's what we out here doing. I always wanted to bring up because people ask me, like, yo, not even ask me, people just always holler at me and be like, Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and um get a truck. We we where you think I should lease on with? Where 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 should I lease on with? I've been, I've been driving company, making good money, but where should I go? I'm trying to get a truck. I'm trying to run it up. And I, it really had me thinking. I really do want to ask each and every person that asks me that shit and be like, why do you want to get a truck, though? What is it about getting a truck that you want parts of? Do you not see people out here on the side of the road crying? Do you not see people sitting in their truck talking about they can't make no money? You don't see that? So what is it about... You that's gonna be different. What makes you feel like you're gonna get out of here and run it up and you're gonna get all the monies? What do you want out of it? It's something to think about. Cause I'm gonna be totally honest with you, and this is wholeheartedly, you dig? If I first of all, let me just say this. You gotta understand what you're doing it for. Alright? Keep that in mind. What are you doing it for? I know y'all seen the accident. Dude's about to get dude's about to lose his life for that one. But that's what they do out here, goofy drivers. But what do you do it for? What are you doing what you're doing it for, all right? Are you getting a truck because you just want to get a t-shirt and put on the operator on the back of it? Are you getting a, a truck because you 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 want to go ahead and let them, you want to you wanna let your nuts swing. You want to let them swing because you feel like, yeah, now I'm in the game. But don't get it twisted, fool. There's a lot of people out here, like this dude to the right of me, he probably getting all the monies. Right? He driving that, I don't know, hazmat tanker, home A night, probably, probably bringing in 100 k Ain't no telling. Don't let having a truck confuse you or convince you of you getting all the monies because, hey, man, some people out here don't make it. Let's be for real. And I'm be honest with y'all, right? If if I could find me a, a local job, if I ever could have found me a local job to where I could work when I want to work, I would even buy a truck. What you said, fool? Hey, I'm going to say it again. If I could find me a job where I could work when I want to work and I'm making some good, decent money to stay in my lifestyle to where I could do other things, I would not even get a truck, though. So you got to pay attention to what are you doing it for? What's your reasoning for wanting to get a truck? Don't just want to get a truck because you feel like that's the only way you can get money. Because that ain't the truth. And if anybody get out here and tell you that's the only way you get big money, they lie. They ain't talk to nobody out here that's driving local and getting home every day, laying up under some titties and, and, and getting all the monies. You ain't talk to them dudes because they, they out here. All right? So keep that in mind. What are you doing it for? You okay, KB, why you got a truck? I just told you, fool. If I could find me a job where I could be working when I want to work, I wouldn't even get a truck. But that's my main reason for getting me 
That's my main reason for getting me a truck. I need total control, man. You know what I'm saying? You see me chilling in the crib uh, two weeks, and nobody called me, tell me nothing. I need that. And ain't no going back from that. There's no going back to, oh, yeah, we need you to come into work. Oh, you, you, no call, no show. You're going to get written up. Like, who you talking to? There is no coming back from that. All right? So keep that in mind. What is your reasoning? If you, if you, because not everybody feel like how I feel. Some people need that type of structure. Some people need that type of structure where the only way you're going to make money for real. Man, the rain messed up the camera, but it's all good. Y'all know where we at. The only way you're going to make money for real is if you have someone on your back. Don't be that type of driver. You, you got to know you got to know yourself. You got to know your, your personality. It's very important. So don't think that the only way you're going to get some money is if you get a truck. That's a false narrative. Curtain side technology. It made it here in one piece. Even though it want to be Hurricane Katrina right now outside and shit. Let's go up in there and um, see if this is an in and out situation. Shit crazy. It went from 3 o'clock to 7 p.m. real quick. Shipping and receiving. I think I might have to go to the office. I don't think I need to go to shipping and receiving. I'm walk up in the office real quick. See if my boy Troy in there. Well, he ain't my boy, but that's his name, though. Close, nobody in there. I'm here to pick up a trailer. I spoke to Troy earlier. Yeah, um, six zero nine one seventy, current side trailer. Yeah. Yeah, he told me this one over here next to the one with the blue nose cone. I think that's what they call it. Got tank on. I ain't never seen no trail like that. We're gonna see what it's about. We got a tanker facing right there. I'm gonna have to slide my ten. If not my ten, I'm gonna have to slide my fifth wheel. The way it's looking. But if I gotta do all that, I need a couple more dollars. Oh yeah, that's a fact though. If I gotta go through all that, I need a couple more dollars. Let's back up to this thing and see what's what. If the KB, why you gonna be washing your truck like that? Cause every time I do, I end up in some shit like this. It never fails. But here got the trailer right here. That's different. I ain't never see this. But you see how high they got it. Now I gotta crank this thing all the way down. Yeah, this is it right here. Brand new. Side curtain trailer. That was the name of the description. Clearly it's hauling some type of all type of has been situations going on. We'll have to put my plate on it. I'm going to hook up to it, make sure the lights work, air it up. Yeah. All the lights work, plates on, get this paperwork, and we out of here. I'm only going to drive about two more hours, I think, maybe even less than that. All right, let me see how far we is, bro. I think it's about, I want to say it's about um 700 and something miles, if I'm not mistaken. Service road. Yeah, this is the best GPS I, I, I had since I've been out here. I ain't going to hold you. I told you all what it is already. I ain't going to say it again because they ain't giving me a couple of dollars. I even called them one time. Like yo, what's up? I'm trying, I'm trying to promote the, the um, the GPS. She tried to. Well, I forgot what she said. I think she replied to me, but I don't know. She says she wanted me to promote something else, so that's a dub. But this is where we at. Oh, hell no! She's trying to have me drive through Canada. See, y'all gotta be careful, bro. See that? 
trying to tell me drive through Toronto and all that and get caught up. Don't be like that, bro. Matter of fact, somebody hit me in my IG one time, told me like, yo, they got caught up crossing to the border with the with the blicky on them. I'm like, shit. Hold on, hold up, Detroit through London. What's that? That's Canada right here. Hell yeah, still trying to have me go through Canada. So I'm gonna have to edit this the right way. That ain't right, bro. Hold on, through Detroit. Four one. I think that is Canada, bro. Brantford, Niagara Falls, and back it through Buffalo. Yeah. Nah, bro. So we're gonna have to try to edit this. Good thing I look. I remember when I first started driving. That happened to me. Oh yeah, that thing that thing happened to me. I'm gonna have to take the 61 down to the 80. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the 69 down. I mean, so let me see if I could do it like this. Route through here. Nah, that ain't do it. Oh yeah, through here. Nah, dog. I'm gonna have to take the 80. To the 90, so I'm have to route through here. Let me see some. Yeah, that's it right there. 846 miles. There it go. See, they, it tried to have me right through Canada, but this is the route I need to take right here. So, 846 miles. Um, I'm gonna do about. I'm probably gonna do two more today. I ain't gotta be there till Friday. What's today? Wednesday, so do two more hours till I find me a nice spot to shower and kick it. And then we just gonna continue tomorrow. But make sure y'all check that man. You see how they try to do it. They try to take you the shortest route through Canada. I can't go through Canada just yet. That's later on in the week. But we out of here. Yo, so actually that eight hundred and plus plus miles that the GPS tried to have me going. I sat there a little longer and I was um, looking at different routes. I actually found one that saved me about 80 miles. So I'm on the 127 South. That's going to take me to the 80, 80 East to the 90. So I sat there for a little longer and um, found me a better route, so, which is dope. So real talk, if you made it to this part of the video, I'm going to tell you how I really feel, all right? I know what I said earlier. But I said that earlier to get the scary goofies up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because more chances than not, they heard what I said and then they ran for they they ran for cover. All right, they ran up out of here. But yeah, I know how I feel, dog. You gotta own something, right? You gotta own the truck, dog. You gotta own the truck. I don't care. I'm not I'm not one to to bash leasing because I I do know that not everybody got money right out the gate, and a quick way to get your money up is to definitely go lease. Right, but leasing the truck and owning the truck ain't the same thing. Anybody and anybody could tell you that. So if you got a lease, go ahead, get your money up. Cause I always said like, if I started when I started this truck and this owner op shit, if it didn't work out, I was gonna go ahead and lease me a truck, run my money up, and give the truck right back. Like hold that, I'm done with that. But fortunately for me, I have reserves and the truck didn't really. It gave me issues, but nothing to to the point where I was out the game. Right, and keep in mind too. This is what I was thinking about. Why the hell do you think these lease payments are so damn high per week? I'm talking about they could range anywhere from 600 on the low side. If you got lower than that, good for you. But 600 on the low side, I seen all the way up to 1,200 a week. Why is that? Ain't no damn truck cost that much, bro. It don't cost that much. But I think they do it strategically. To keep your ass in the truck. There's only so many days you can take off before you dig a hole for yourself and you gotta throw dirt on yourself over that. It's only so many weeks. You can't well to be honest, I don't know how many weeks you're taking off if if you in the hole twelve hundred dollars each week plus insurance and plus uh, every other thing, so I don't see that. But they keep these payments so high to keep you working, to keep them make to keep making them money. Because you, you go ahead and put some money down on your truck. You know, in most cases, your, your truck payment per, per month is 1100 900 800 If your credit wasn't too good, 1500 right? But that's nowhere near 1200 a week, 800 a week. It's strategically put in place for y'all to keep you, keep you in the truck. Keep your ass in the seat 
and keep putting money in their pocket. It is what it is. And you don't have the, the level of freedom as somebody with their own truck will ever have. There's no way in hell you got you at home two weeks in a row just chilling without no worries in the world. Hell nah, because every time you think about, damn, now I got to run the hall when I get out. When I get, when I get back on the road, I got to run the hall. And I got to get back in that truck for like eight, nine weeks just to break even, just to get out the hole. It ain't it. So I know that's that earlier. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. But the reality is you need to own your own shit. Ain't no way around it. Talk about the level of freedom and the level of, of course, when you got your your maintenance account right, you just have a level of, you just have a sense of comfort. You don't really got nothing. You don't really, you ain't worried about too much because you know everything will get taken care of. You feel me? Work where you want to work, man. That's what it's all about. I know, I know some of y'all already doing the damn thing. Some might be preaching to the choir, but I'm talking to those that don't know, don't know what it's like yet. I know y'all sitting there thinking like, yo, this is what I'm trying to do. Yeah, this is what you're trying to do and this is what you're going to do. Ain't nothing to it. Get that money up, stack it up. Straight like that. Work when you want to work. Ain't no better feeling, dawg. Trying to tell you. That's what it's about. But look at this goofy in front of me. Want to be slowing down, man. But I'm going to get around him. I'm going to hop on. I'm staying on this 127. Take me to the, um, to the 80. Then we're going to find somewhere to shut it down. But as y'all know, man, your boy's back. Oh, yeah, the voice is back. I understand y'all ain't hear my voice in a little minute, but we back. And I'm going to check back in with y'all when I, when I get down to um wherever the hell I'm going. You feel me? Holla at y'all on the next one. You did. <laughs> one time.